When it comes to video and motion design, sharing your creative ideas and keeping in sync with your creative team and clients is important. Whether it's uploading files, sharing ideas, or getting approvals, FrameOut brings it all together with its powerful yet easy cloud platform built specifically for creators and collaborators. FrameIO offers integrations with many of your favorite apps that lets users customize their tool set to their idea workflow. In this video, we'll walk you through an example workflow of inside After Effects using our FrameIO integration. Let's dive in and get started. If you have an existing Creative Cloud After Effects account, your included FrameIO plan gives you up to two users, five projects, 100 gigs of storage, and the account will be enabled for Camera to Cloud. If you wish to add more to your FrameIO account, you can always upgrade to a pro or team plan through FrameIO. To access and open the FrameIO panel, head to your workspaces under the window option and choose Review. You can also separately open your FrameIO panel if you wish to create your own custom workspace. I have a finished comp here and I need to get this up to FrameIO in order to collect feedback from my colleagues within this project. Under the Upload button, I have a few options to upload my comp. I can upload an active or queued comps, but I can also upload files and any bin from my After Effects project. I can even upload this project file to use at a different workstation for another designer. Under Upload Active or Queued Comp, I can change the file name, choose the upload format, whether or not I want the entire comp, a section using in and out points, or a work area. Lastly, I can choose whether to save a local copy of this comp and where I'd like it saved. After hitting Upload, After Effects will process my individual comp or any queued comps in this project. The people you work with most often can be added to your FrameIO account as either a team member or a collaborator. Each one of these roles is considered a user. A team member can see all projects on a single account while a collaborator only has access to a project they've been invited to. I need to add a remote editor to this project so they can provide me with a few alternate shots. I can do this easily by adding them in as a collaborator since they're only working on this project. Clicking the plus icon here at the top, I can drop in their email and send off that invite. Once the editor gets the invite, they'll be prompted to create a free FrameIO account to access this project. Any colleague that I add to the FrameIO account will count as a charge for each user that I add. If I don't wish to have certain users added to my account, or if I have a client that just needs to leave notes on revisions, I can hit Share, then Shares Review to send a review link. A review link is a way for me to get feedback from external users so they can be a part of the review process, but not directly invited into the account. This is great for sharing with clients, directors, and other major stakeholders. I'm going to open my uploaded comp directly within the panel. I can already see the notes being added in real time by my team and the remote editor. By default, my playhead is automatically synced to my recently uploaded comp, and when I click on different comments in my timeline, it jumps to the same spot as it appears in FrameIO. In the comments section, I can reply to those comments by double-clicking on one to view it in a list. If I plan on working offline or I need to refer to these notes later, I can import these comments as markers directly onto my sequence by clicking on Import Comments. Any drawn annotations made by my client will import as a shape layer in my comp. My comment replies and most other actions on FrameIO will prompt the notification for everyone that is on your account. Here's what that notification will look like for your team when a new comment is added. Editors you are working with can upload entire sequences or high resolution elements that you can download at an accelerated speed. You can import the files on FrameIO by clicking on the asset you wish to download and then choose Download, Import File. I can also choose multiple files, hit the three dots, and choose Import Files. Once the media is in your bin, you can add it to your timeline like any other clip. If you wish to download that file, choose Download, and it will live somewhere you specify on your computer. Now I'm ready to upload this comp to FrameIO and start collecting feedback. When I've made my revisions to my comp, I can go through this process again until the project is complete. To make things easier for each revision, I can choose to auto-version these edits into a single stack on a FrameIO. Version stacking is a great tool in FrameIO that keeps your project organized to not fill it up with revisions and drafts that are uploaded. For you or anyone that you're working with, these same features and more are available on our web app. You can sign in from anywhere and have the same access you did within the After Effects panel. This is just an example of how you can collaborate on FrameIO, but there's a lot more to explore that may fit your unique workflow better. Be sure to explore all that FrameIO has to offer and refer to our other resources located on our support pages to see what all FrameIO can do. Don't forget to check out our Premiere Panel tutorial video as well. Happy designing.